Chris and this is Jim and we're Midlife Travel Bug and today we're in the beautiful seaside town of Lagos, Portugal. The sunny Lagos, Portugal. We are excited about the sun as we've had a few weeks of rain in the northern part of Portugal but today has proven to be a spectacular day and we can't wait to show you around this beautiful historical seaside town. The Lagos is in the south end of Portugal right in the Algarve. It's one of the biggest cities in the Algarve so uh, very beautiful town, lots of uh, walking streets, tile streets everywhere. It's a very cafe culture, and we're going to show you around this amazing part of the Algarve. One of the first things you notice about Lagos is that it is full of these tiled streets. So everything is these small little cobblestone or tiled colorful streets that you're going to walk along the boardwalk and, and there's a whole walking street that you can walk up and down. The, the streets are nice and quaint and tiny and shops everywhere and restaurants everywhere. Just up in the hills of Lagos is the Church of St. Sebastian, built in the 14th century. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cold. So if you just throw in your Google Maps, some of the attractions that you can find, you're gonna find some of the lookouts. What do you think, Chris? Beautiful, I think we're coming just right at sunset. I mean, come for a walk, enjoy the views.
we're just in the marina over here in Lago Ocean. If you just go from the old city, all you do is walk down the prominent and cross a little bridge and you're in the marina. So it's kind of a good mix of both old world and new world, but very pretty as well. So come check it out. And this is where you can rent all the tour excursions. The so boat trips. If you do come though, plan to book a boat tour. So something to think about when you come and book a place to stay in Lago. A couple suggestions now that we've been here for a little bit. I think I would choose one of two areas. I think that if you could stay in the old city, it's probably a nice place to stay because you're close to all the action in the shops. However, a second choice would be the marina because it's actually just across the street from the old city and it looks like they have a lot of great like condo options as well and it's, it's really close by. So places to stay I'd probably choose one of those two places either the marina or old city yeah so parking is always a premium here yes. so when you're driving into the town it's always hard to find parking but if you're staying in the area like if you're staying in the marina it might have better luck on the yeah. marina side finding a place that has parking included but and it's we're here during the shoulder slow season so we've been able to find parking it's still been difficult but I think that during the peak times, it, it would be a challenge for sure. So. And it's still easy to walk to the central. Staying in the central, obviously, you're with the restaurants and the bars, but if you're in the marina, you're not far from the beach, you're not far from the central. Just across the street, actually, so probably a five or 10 minute walk. So keep that in mind for places to stay. wrapping up our time here in Lagos and we have to say it's it's a beautiful seaside town make the time to come if you come to the Algarve the marina is beautiful and the old city is very walkable lots of cute shops boutiques little cafes and quite beautiful so we had a good time we'd come back I think if we're staying anywhere in the Algarve, we'd probably pick the Lagos area as a place to have our home base, just because there's so much it's going so on around here. Yeah. It's laid back too. It's got an easy breeziness to it, where it doesn't feel as rushed and as busy as some of the other cities we've seen so far. Really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Stick Hope around for the next video, because we have some more interesting places that we'll be visiting in the future. But thanks again for following us and watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take Cheers. care, guys. Cheers. Excursions. The so, boat trips yeah, to see trip. all the um, cliff lines. Uh, we were going to take one today. Something to keep in mind when you come to Lagos, if you plan on staying here, there's two suggestions that we probably have. If we were to come back, Jim has to pee. Yet these. Beautiful park. All these, like. <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> Don't be a f idiot. Thank <laughs> you.